One of the biggest problems you're going to run into when framing a floor and using mid-span blocks. Mid-span blocks are blocks that are located in between the bearing points, the load bearing points that the joists sit on. For example, the beam here would be one and the concrete footing would be the other. And the maximum spacing for a mid-span block is 10 feet. So any joist that would be longer than 10 feet would require mid-span blocks, even though I don't think I would put them in myself unless the joists were about um, 14 foot maybe. That would be pushing it um, 16 foot for sure. But I will leave that up to you. The reason why I wouldn't put them in is mid-span blocks squeak. So that is the biggest problem with a mid-span block but the biggest problem that you're going to run into when you use mid-span blocks. And I just, the reason why I'm making this video is I watch videos about construction. And I seen one the other day where the person was showing someone else how to build some type of a barn, I believe it was, and it had a floor in it and the floor joists were all messed up. So I thought, hey, now would be a good time to make a video. So here we can see that the joists are straight. We can go a little farther down and they are still straight. This would be a good floor. You install the sheathing, floor sheathing in here and you aren't going to have very many problems. However, that will not be the case if you use mid-span blocks that are a little larger. And by a little larger, we used to cut a sixteenth of an inch off of the mid-span blocks. So, for example, if in normally you'd be thinking, hey, a 14 and a half inch block will work great for 16 inch on center floor joists that are made out of 2 by 10, for example. And but that's not the case. We need to cut a little, make them a little bit shorter. And I've actually seen these blocks cut a little bit shorter, and they've actually created a problem to where the the joists don't bow out this way, like uh, in the example here. They actually start bowing in, so they'll start to come in. Now the trick to installing mid-span blocks is to constantly check them to make sure that they're 16 inches on center. So at maybe every uh, other joist you install, grab the tape measure, hook over the rim joist, and check it. And if it's off an eighth of an inch, simply cut an eighth of an inch off of the next block you're going to install. And that should keep it in bay. But if you get them, you check them constantly, you're not going to have a problem. You don't. You just go in and build it. You could end up with a problem. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm talking about here, this would be one of the worst joists uh, case uh, scenarios, but this joist would be actually off an inch. I made these an eighth of an inch progressively larger bowing. So here's an inch, this one here's seven eighths, this one here's three quarters, and so on. But most of the time it's going to be a sixteenth of an inch, an eighth of an inch, and uh, gain progressively. So this one here has a little less bow in it and of course this a little less this one would be the starting point let's take a look at it from the top and we can see here where this has got a big bow in it and I removed the block so that we can see where we were dealing with this one here is straight this one here gains about an eighth of an inch and so on Here's the big problem with this, and it is the floor sheathing. You can see here where this one is, the plywood is on the joist full bearing, but this next piece is not going to be that way. Close look at it there. And here we can see where we're at the edge and you're almost off of it here. And I've seen this too many times. You install enough um, plywood, roof sheathing, floor sheathing, even shear panel, exterior plywood. You see this and it's like, holy smokes, how'd they get off that far? But it happens, especially if you're not paying attention when you're laying out the floor joists. Here we can see where the bow is a little less, but it's uh, on probably about three-eighths of an inch or a quarter of an inch here. And then here we have over an inch 
inch and a quarter of uh, joist that for this piece of plywood. So this piece of plywood is going to be great. This one here is going to be a problem. Again, back to here. And that is it for this video. So mid-span blocks, cut them a little shorter. And constantly, I mean constantly, grab your tape measure and double check to make sure that these joists are in the right spot when you are installing or building a floor. And again, this, this is the same thing with a roof, roof framing, mid-span blocks, and for wall sheathing, uh, same thing. So hope it helps. If it does, you know what to do. Hit the old thumbs up button and uh, it is off to the next video.